Hello, YouTube Pipe Pals. <clears throat> Just finished uh, changing the oil in my truck. So today has been a very productive day. Good day. A very, very good day. Uh, mowed the lawn, did the dishes, cleaned the kitchen, did the laundry. Changed the oil in my truck and then cleaned up the mess after I changed the oil in my truck. No matter how how clean I try to be, I put the oil pan right underneath and and uh, it's, <laughs> it always ends up ends up a mess. So what I do is I I uh, put some soap on there, let it soak in, kind of brush it into the concrete, then I spray it down. Um, probably not the best for the environment, but, um, <laughs> I made a mess. My, uh, hand stayed pretty clean. I was impressed with that. Anyway, um, I just finished watching Doc Hatfield, Preacher Man Pipe, and he mentioned that, um, he had a couple of tutorials on showing how to, uh, load a pipe, light a pipe smoke a pipe and that he wasn't happy with the uh, with how it turned out because he couldn't see what he was he was making and so he wanted to uh redo those videos and so i thought that would be a fantastic idea for us content creators to uh help doc out a little bit um everyone does things a little bit different um or the same uh and so I thought I would, <laughs> I would um, show you how I load, light, and smoke a pipe, which is, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't have an exact way I do it every time. It depends on, depends on the tobacco. It depends on the type of tobacco. It depends on. If it's dried or a little bit wet, I mean, there's a lot that goes into it, but I typically just <laughs> throw the tobacco in the bowl, light it up, and give it a smoke. But I'll show you how I I do that. Oh, <laughs> hey, I finished my chores. Technically, it's after noon. It's like 12 something. I'm having a little bit of bourbon. Or, yeah, I'm having a little bit of bourbon. No judgment. All right. My pipe is this super nice Suge. Love this pipe. Love it, love it. Saddle. <laughs> Fishtail. Danish. <sighs> I know you guys know what I like. I like, I like that style. Um, and today... I'll be loading it up with a kind of a tough tobacco to load, actually. Um, McClellan 22 Aged Virginia. It's kind of a broken flake. And it is a little bit moist now. Uh, smells like ketchup. I don't know if some of you guys out there know that uh, McClellan's uh, tobaccos tend to always smell like ketchup and this is definitely no exception it, it doesn't taste like ketchup it's <laughs> it just smells like ketchup and so i'm gonna take this uh broken flake and i'm gonna put it in there and squish it down When you're dealing with a broken flake, you can really squish it down because it's not going to, like a like a ribbon cut, it's not going to clog the air hole, really, because it's, it's a flake. And so there's, there's spaces for the air to get through, no matter, you know, how hard you pack it, really. So there's one. Um, here's some... <laughs> some other little pieces and so I'll wrangle those in the bowl 
and <laughs> push it down a little bit just so it's flush with the top of the bowl. Now there's plenty of air in there. And so the next thing I do, just to make sure I didn't mess up, give it some draws. Plenty of air. If uh, I couldn't draw, I would dump it out and start over again. Or I'd get a poker. This is not the poker I would use, but kind of loosen it up if it were a ribbon cut or something else. And then give it another test draw. If that didn't work, then I'd send this through and there might be just one little tiny piece of tobacco um, covering the draft hole and just that would fix it. But, good to go. Next, I light it. Um, typically, I use a Bic or a Zippo. I don't have the Zippo lying around, it's back there. But today, I'll use some matches because that's more fun. No one wants to see you light a pipe with matches or with a with a big. I mean, everybody knows a big, but um, I have this old uh, cigar uh, box flip lid, and I have lots of matches in there. I really like this box, um, and you can go to a cigar store, and usually they give them away. They're like piled up in a corner. Just grab one, and they make really great boxes for stuff whatever you want um i kept tampers and this for a long time actually um or they charge like a few dollars um, but typically they throw them away or they'll have a stack of free and then they'll have a stack of you know a few bucks but <laughs> this is my match box so i will now i usually take you know three or four matches out and set those aside because unless you're a champion long smoke contest winner it's going to take more than one match and I'll light it up burn off the sulfur I like the smell of sulfur but it doesn't taste very good I move the match over the top of the tobacco. Make sure the top is lit. And you'll notice that it's really not lit. That's just the toasting light or the charring light or the first light, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll usually, where'd my tamper go? The little bit that lit is gonna like pop up a little bit and I'll just work those little those little guys back down just lightly and go for my shrinking light burn off that sulfur ah, smells like fireworks and just kind of work it over the top Now there's no rules as to how many false lights, char lights, toasting lights that you get. <laughs> there are no rules. It's your pipe. It's your tobacco. You can do whatever you want. But this one's going to take quite a bit because it is a flake and it's a pretty thick flakes actually. Um, so it's going to take some. <laughs> it's going to take some doing. I should have brought out some more matches. burn off that sulfur unless you like the taste of sulfur then you can go ahead and puff that too
sometime those toasting lights, first light, false light, whatever you want to call it, those are the most flavorful. Enjoy starting up your pipe. That's your taste buds waking up. They know what they're in store for. They're getting ready. They know they're about to be treated with some wonderful, wonderful flavors. Yep, another light. Match number four. <laughs> like I said, there are no rules. Don't get frustrated. As soon as you start getting frustrated, that's when your pipe meditation goes the wrong way. Enjoy yourself. Good idea is to kind of like blow through your pipe and then suck through your pipe and then blow through your pipe. Stoke that flame or the ember. Now that it's lit, I can say the last match was the true light. If it wasn't lit, then it would still be the charring light. Seems to be going all right now. Mm-hmm. Once you get it going, you can cover over your bowl. Play with it a little bit. Now, most of the flavor is not from the burning tobacco. It's from the smoldering tobacco. So, a lot of the tongue bite comes from overheating your tobacco the steam and the uh, hotness of the smoke will contribute to tongue bite. So now that you have it lit, slow down. If it goes out, it goes out. It's okay. <laughs> you have more matches. You have more fluid. It's okay. Now you can slow it way down. Listen to your music. Sip on your beverage of choice. Turn up your music. This is a classic cool song, so hopefully YouTube doesn't ixnay on my video A. Video V. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I better turn off this music just in case. So, I mean, then, then you tap away. Really, there's no place for this tobacco to go because it is a pretty thick flake, so not much tamping required until you really get to smoking it. When you get tired of using matches,
That big will maintain you. The biggest advice I can give you is to slow it way down. If the bowl gets hot, set it down. If your tongue starts to tingle, set it down. If you start to get dizzy, set it down. Go eat something. <laughs> or don't drink alcohol. <laughs> But remember why you smoke a pipe. To relax. To think. To make videos. <laughs> Tamp as much as you want. Light as much as you want. Just remember. Enjoy your pipe. Enjoy your tobacco. Think. Relax. Call it pipe therapy if you want. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cheaper than going to see a counselor, I guess. Now, inhaling, you shouldn't inhale. You should not inhale. There's no reason to inhale. The flavor is brought in, is retrohaled, it's in the environment. Call it the room note. But I do. <laughs> I know it's not it's not very healthy. But I do. Probably my every fourth or fifth puff I'll inhale just a just a smidge. Enjoy pipe smoking how you want to enjoy it. Enjoy the tobaccos that you enjoy. Don't let anybody tell you that aromatics are crap or Englishes smell bad. Well, I mean, I guess they do kind of smell bad. I like the smell. <laughs> Rachel does not like the smell. But I enjoy it. Especially the room note. It smells like incense to me. like the incense that has um, wood resins kind of incense. Not the flowery little rods that you can light up. Although, I do do that too. Um, actually, um, Paul, um, Papa Bear's Nook, he does uh, tobacco and cologne pairings. And he likes to smell his cologne and smoke and that's a that's a very good idea i mean it really relaxes you it brings you into the moment um i kind of went off of that and started burning incense at the same time that i smoke a pipe and it really does enhance the the atmosphere the pipe smoking experience it does relax me and that is what it's all about right and so I have, um, <laughs> this little thing that holds the rod. I mean, there's things you can buy, but this little box right here is full of different, um, incense rod, little incense things. Yep. I also use the cone sometimes, but, um, Walmart was out of cones. <laughs> so I use the sticks.
helps with the room note. Don't get frustrated. Like I said, if you have to relight and keep relighting, I hear a lot of pipe smokers, new pipe smokers, they get frustrated because they can't keep their pipe lit. They, um, they'll reach out, touch out, and ask um, on the tube um, how to keep their pipe lit. And the answer is <laughs> with the pick <laughs> or with with a uh, some matches or a Zippo or whatever. Um, Soul Mirrors, uh, he goes by a different name now, different channel, but um, he did a video on uh, lighting his pipe with a uh, magnifying glass. He had a magnifying glass up in the sun and he lit his pipe with a magnifying glass. So he can do it any way you want. If that tobacco gets lit, then Job done. So this video is at about 21.57. Probably one of my longest videos. I encourage you uh, content creators out there to give Doc Hatfield... Preacher Man Pipe, a little bit of hope. Not that he needs it, but um, it'd be fun to have all kinds of different um, presenters present how they light, pack, pack, light, and smoke their pipe. I think it'd be a fun thing to watch. Good stuff. I'm very sad that McClellan's is not making any more tobacco. Very sad. But there's plenty of other delicious tobaccos out there, so don't be too sad. All right, so I will sign off. Fair winds and following seas till we meet again. Bye, YouTube.